here comes Amos. Now Amos Moses was a Cajun. He lived by himself in the swamp. He hunted alligator for a living. He just knocked him in the head with a stump. The Louisiana law gonna get you, Amos. It ain't legal hunting alligator down in the swamp, boy. Now everybody blamed this old man for making him mean as a snake. When Amos Moses was a boy, his daddy would use him for alligator bait. Tie a rope around his waist and throw him in the swamp. <laughs> alligator bait in the Louisiana bayou. About 45 minutes southeast of Tippado, Louisiana. Lived a man called Doc Mill South and his pretty wife Hannah. Well, he raised up a son that could eat up his weight in groceries. Named him after a man of the cloth. Called the name Miss Moses. Yeah, yeah. Now the folks around South Louisiana said Amos was a hell of a man. He could trap the biggest, the meanest alligator and just use one hand. That's all he got left because the alligator beat it. <laughs> left gone, gone, clean up to the elbow. Well, the sheriff got wind that Amos was in the swamp trapping alligator skin. So he snuck in the swamp, going to get the boy, but he never come out again. Well, I wonder where the Louisiana sheriff went to. <laughs> well, you could sure get lost in the Louisiana bayou. About 45 minutes southeast of Dippado, Louisiana. Lived a cat called Doc Mills, I paid his pretty wife, Hannah. Well, they raised up a son that could eat up his weight in groceries. Named him after a man of the cloth. Call him Amos Moses. Sit down, Amos. Make it count, son. About 45 minutes southeast of Dippado, Louisiana. Lived a man called Doc Millsap and his pretty wife Hannah. Well, they raised up a son that could eat up his weight in groceries. Named him after a man of the cloth. Call him Amos Moses.